in Tampa, Florida. Um, we're at the airport. Well, yeah, we're at the airport. We're outside waiting for the bus to come and pick us up the tickets over to the University of Tampa so that we can go check it out and see what it looks like to the room, to the school, get to know the area a little bit before I move in next month. So when we get to the actual university, I'll start filming again. Toodles! Gotta say toodles! Toodles! Beaches in the world. Uh, this is Clearwater Beach. It was actually voted the number one beach in America last year. Like I said, if you guys have any extra time, I recommend checking them out. The river is me. I have looked to find somewhere where I can see the river from my house. Not in this price range, not in my college budget. Um, so this is the same thing, like I said, here in the back to the middle. Um, in the back there's a volley, uh, sand volleyball court and also access to plant park. People's in the tan and chill out there. There's also a grill in the back that you're already like from one or two. This right here behind me is our McDonald's Council Library's Library is two stories. The first level has the information desk that can help you with anything from you can check out a laptop, you can do that, 24-hour laptop checkout. Um, if you want to get one of the study rooms, they are first come, first serve. They are sound room study rooms. They're all on the second floor, so you just go up, see if one's available, get the number, go downstairs to the information desk, and they'll help you out with preserving it. You just give you a senior ID, and you have it for an hour. You need it for more than that, go back downstairs, preserve it for more than another hour. You can come here to the animal before you do. So these chairs, the empties, you'll ever see it. To be honest, they're always full of people, no matter what. I lied. 8 o'clock in the morning, nobody is here. When the sun comes out, yes, they are. All times of day, you swear that they don't have a class. How we don't have a tanning club here, I don't know. But if you want to start one, by all means, get three other students, a faculty, a faculty member to sign off on it, make up a constitution of some type, and it'll get approved. Why not? As you can hear now, our YouTube radio station is playing out here. They play out here every day. Um, and people tend to do homework out here. I tried my freshman year before my my college algebra class. Went to school, did a little bit of my homework, and then I went to class. I obviously used the shower on here, and then I went to class. So it is possible. It's just depending on your major and time management wise. I'm just not one to be sticky pants if I have to go to Okay, so if you look up on the bulletin board, this right here is work actually done by students here at the University of Tampa. This is an example of the hands-on experience you'll get here. A lot of professors, especially in this department, and honestly in every department, have actually worked in their field that they're teaching. So it's not like they just, oh, I'm going to lecture now. I've never actually been a day in that type of job. No, they've actually done it, especially in this in this um, particular area, I know for sure a lot of my a lot of my professors have their own research labs as well, so you can shadow them actually if you want to. And then your senior year, kind of can start your junior year, you can start working on your own research project in a group of um, students, and it actually gets published and they post it up on something like this. And they also do have like a seminar too at the end of the year where all the students work and they display like what their research was about, what they collected, and what happened with it. So our um, the University of Tampa uses the Bank of America. So we have two of those ATMs located on this campus. One is in here, the other one is in Bond Center. I like this one better because it gives me money in multiples of 10 to $150. You can also take out 60, you can take out 50. International struggles, um, my ATM fee is two high, three dollars here, and then another like maybe five, almost eight dollars, you just take out money. Not happening. So as you notice, I had to swipe to get into this building. Our campus is a very open campus. If you didn't notice it by now, it is. So we have campus safety. They work 24-7, all days of the week, holidays included. But um, a lot of our buildings, you have to swipe to get inside. Or like how Vaughn is a very open building, you also have to swipe to get in the elevator. This one, you don't particularly have to. Um, in RA, this is the RA desk here. It's typically on the first floor. In Vaughn, it just happens to be on the third because there's a lot of stuff inside Vaughn already. RAs are still positioned here from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. At 12 a.m., that's when campus safety takes over. Your ID is your life on campus. Again, that's how you get the building up your elevator for your particular building. Um, your meal plan, this has all the important numbers for UT on the back here. Campus safety, laser team, health and wellness center. You need to call me at the health center. On the wellness center, that's the therapy part of it. You get six free sessions a semester. Um, all is in the back here, the victim's advocate hotline is in the back here as well. Save those numbers to your phone in case you need to hide your ID here. I don't recommend you do it, though, or stuff. 
Um, but campus safety, no matter whether you swipe to get the building or not, they're going to ask for your ID and make sure you go here because open campus, people are always up and about. So we, we try to keep making sure everybody's still safe. Um, you're allowed to have guests on campus, but again, they have to check in with campus safety so we know who's actually staying here. And if they happen to get out of hand and break any rules, then they get kicked off of campus. Not to the student, your guest doesn't and never come here again. And they don't put with that any ID all the time.
All of this is to represent the diversity of our campus. Each one of these flags represents a student that has graduated from the University of Tampa already from that country. So, yes to my fellow Bahamian that put that flag there. Amen. Um, this love her. Um, so this is just an example of one of our. So sorry, I just want to like scream in your ear. This is an example of another hands-on experience you'll get here at the University of Tampa. They don't just teach; they actually let you work in the field. So. John Sykes himself donates money to the senior finance class, and um, they will actually use it in the real stock market, not a virtual one, not a made-up one. This is actual money going into the actual stock market that UT students are trading in. Those right there are real live Bloomberg computers. Um, students actually use those, so any money that they gain back from it gets used for scholarships and construction. So Skills on fleek. <laughs> There's a lot of space. I know, but it's a lot of space. Hey guys, so um, I didn't record an outro for this video when I was actually um, leaving the school, but it was an awesome tour. The campus was really gorgeous, and I apologize for the glitchiness in the video. My computer seems to not be able to handle all the files, but I can't really fix it, so but other than that, it was a great tour. The tour guide was awesome. The campus is really great. We went on a rainy day, so just imagine what it would look like on an actual sunny day when the sun is out and everything, but please make sure to subscribe to my channel for updates. I will be attending the University of Tampa in the fall, majoring in entrepreneurship at the John Zeck School of Business. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!